Good morning, New Valley Psalm 83 today. Before we go there though, I wanna ask you a question. Who are your enemies? Is it okay to have enemies as Christians, as the people of God? Well, Psalm 83 shows us the community lamenting and crying out to God to protect them and to vindicate them from their enemies. Verse five says, these are those who conspire with one accord against you. They make a covenant. So God's people do have enemies. And what I'm noticing here is it's not wrong to identify them and to pray against them. But as we move on through the Psalm, you'll notice something that these enemies are described as God's enemies, not my enemies, not our enemies, but God's enemies. So who are the enemies of God's people? It's those who hate God. And how are we to respond to them? Well, we see prayers for justice, but what we see highlighted here towards the end is this. Verse 16, fill their faces with shame. It sounds harsh that they may seek your name, O Lord. See, the end goal of praying against and identifying these enemies is that they would recognize the one true God and have a conversion. So who are your enemies? Are they personal? Are they national? This Psalm calls us as the people of God to not make personal enemies, to not make national enemies, but to see our enemies as those who oppose God and would obliterate all his ways. We don't take it personally. We take it to the Lord and ask that he would vindicate his name and that he would turn them to him. Pray with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Bless you, saints.